Welcome to Truckyard's data file, where we take a look at a ship from the Star Trek universe and provide you with all the specifications and details on it. Today, we've accessed the shuttle pod from Star Trek Enterprise. Initiating Truckyard's data file, transferring to monitor. Accessing file. Shuttle pods were a small type of shuttlecraft operated by Starfleet in the 2150s and early 2160s. They were primarily used to transport personnel to and from planets and or other spacecraft. The Enterprise NX-01, Earth's first Warp 5 vessel, carried two shuttle pods through its 10-year mission. Referred to as Shuttle Pod 1 and Shuttle Pod 2, they were stored in a bay located on the lower section of the main hull and were launched via two large doors that opened up in the floor of the shuttle bay. Needing only one pilot, the shuttle pods were able to carry up to seven personnel comfortably, sometimes used by MAKO forces, Starship crew members going on away missions, or even for transporting diplomatic delegations. The shuttle pods were eventually used less and less for routine transport as transporter technology became more advanced and people became more comfortable with getting their molecules scattered. Each shuttle pod had an entrance on the roof and a large one at the side. The interior configuration of the shuttle pod consisted of a pilot seat in front of a wraparound instrumental display. Two other seats were located directly behind that, each with access to control monitors to be used as scanning, communication, or tactical stations as needed. Then in the very rear of the craft were two small benches on each side. These benches doubled as bunks when necessary and also served as storage as they could be lifted to reveal a storage compartment. Access to several systems were available as well with the removal of a number of panels. Monitors here could also display various mission-specific information as needed. Oxygen recyclers were of course standard equipment aboard shuttle pods. They did not, however, have any toilet facilities. Shuttle pods only had a maximum speed of one quarter impulse as standard, but with modifications this top speed could be increased slightly. Additional thrust could be generated using a fusion burn, and if necessary the entire rear engine module could be ejected and safely detonated. They were also lightly armed with two forward-facing plasma cannons. These cannons had a range of 10 kilometers and were capable of firing both plasma bolt or bullet and beam style emissions. At least six spatial charges were also on board and could be used to spread particles at a radius of 500 kilometers. These charges were launched as missiles from the shuttle. The shuttle pods were protected by a titanium hull and utilized polarized hull plating as a defensive measure. They were able to take a few phase cannon hits before any real damage occurred, but overall these craft were not very resilient to explosive or projectile weapons. And that is it for this compact look at the shuttle pod from Star Trek Enterprise. Please check out other videos on this channel for relaxed discussions, conversations with the ship's designers, and fully fleshed out ship episodes with more original renders and 3D animations using the original studio models of all of your favorite Star Trek ships. There is always more to see on Trek Yards, so check in often, and be sure to tune in next time for another Trek Yards data file.